Today on Instantaceous, the blazer gets a little bit of color. All right, y'all, so early in the channel, uh, I showed you all that I had started an iPad mini dash. Uh, I actually had built one before, but unfortunately it's for iPad one and well, iPad mini one and well, Apple no longer supports it. So thanks Apple. Uh, but other than that, I really don't do a lot of body work. So, well, let's just face it, I'm horrible at it, okay? So, I, I want to show you what I'm, we're doing today. And, uh, well, actually, continuing with today because I started this project early and it was just, I was so focused that I didn't film anything. I want to show you all something and please don't yell hack job because, let's face it, I know I can't do body works, but... There's a good part about knowing your limitations. So let's start with an explanation of what's going on here. Um, basically, what's happening is I have done, as you all can see, I primed inside the door jams, so far outside the doors, wrapping around here. Uh, it stops right here. And I guess I had to back mask here to spray that back in black. And I've got over top of the windshield and down the A pillar. With that, if y'all come around here and look, I don't see how well you can see it. It's just really messy looking. Okay, so uh, I had a plan. There are some places, like there's a little foam, piece of foam there I gotta get off and back there is some. But there are some major p places I'm gonna fix. However, I figured out a way to get around not being a body person. And body people, of course, part of that's painting. So what I'm gonna do is, y'all already know this thing's going Nardo. As far as I'm known, we're gonna be the first blazer with Nardo. And don't nobody try to say that, hey, you're on first, and then you start painting your blazer after this, because I don't put Nardo around the gas thing. So you ain't the first if you try that. Something I'm not sure I'm the first on. I'm probably not the first on, just to be honest. But I've made a decision that stays within my skill set and gets the blazer all one color. I want to do the tenable Raptor liner. Uh, so I'm going to get a little bit of Nardo mixed up, get some tenable Raptor liner. And not only am I going to get tenable Raptor liner, instead of getting a spray on, there's a roll on version. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to have a Nardo textured blazer. And even though we're not going to, probably not going to be the first textured blazer, I wonder if we are the first Nardo Raptor Laundered Vehicle. Who cares? All I know is I think it's going to be cool. But it's going to keep me within my skill set and help me get this done. Uh, I am going to decently paint the door jams and we are not going to go back into the door jam with the Raptor Liner. Um, I know I could probably extend this into a video, but look, look y'all, there's very few weeks till Power Tour. Uh, I don't know if the blazer is going to be there or not, but I want to give it my best try. And the only way I can do that is to shut up and go to work. Since I'm waiting here for the Nardo to dry on a door here, uh, by the way, I ran out. I got to get more. But anyway, since I'm waiting for it to dry out so I can clear it, let me show you kind of what I'm looking at here. So the basic thing I did is I just sprayed in Nardo around all the edges, the door jam inside, the front jam over here, uh, around the windshield. That way I get my windshield put in. This will let me put in my seals around the window. So I put all the electronics in the door and get them, the doors working. And uh, I don't have to worry about it after that. I just kind of sand it up to the seals and roll the next color on. We're good to go. And if anybody wonders why I'm not working on the transmission and the engine, well, 
Uh, that, that's cause I'm waiting on the center plate assembly uh, that goes on the clutch frictions in the case. Uh, mine is terrible. The bearing won't spin in it. And uh, it generally is just warped and I don't know what happened to it. Bottom line is I am glad I didn't just go buy a two wheel drive transmission and get it over with. Uh, because I found a lot that was wrong in there. Plus, while shopping for a replacement for that, stopped at a parts store. Uh, one of the guys that worked there, they worked there, said on a buddy discount, he just had his transmission fully rebuilt, three grand. Yeah, I ain't got nowhere near a grand, let alone three grand a month. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.